Welcome to the Fast Fix channel, everyone. My name is Jason. Today we are changing the cabin air filter on a 2017 Nissan Murano. This should apply to all years 2009 through current, with even some working before 2009. The process might be just a little bit different. This is something you can do too. Let's get right to work. We're going to start on the passenger side, and unfortunately, there's no real easy way to do this. We're going to have to contort ourselves a little bit in order to get this job done. But we're going to start here, uh, right at this clip, and remove our filter. So here we are under the car, and again, we are starting at this tab right here. So all we need to do is lift it up like that, and then just pull down. Eventually, we'll pull down. There we go. I just had to angle a little bit more. You can see it's just kind of got a hook on the end, so that's what's clipping in it into there. Now, I'm going to show you as best I can, because believe me, I'm highly contorted here, but this is our filter inside the slot, and the slot is actually smaller than the size of the filter, so what we need to do is kind of work this out uh, with our hands, and it's actually the case that the filter the end tab is actually going farther down. It stops about right here. So what you really need to do is kind of crunch it up in order to move it out. I will try to film that as best I can, but uh, let's see how this goes. All right, I felt my finger get under it there. See that? I just kind of work my finger down and then in. I'll just kind of pull it out here. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. Of course, those famous last words, it's not out yet. And there we go, just keep crunching it up a little bit. Pull it out. Not too bad. Really wasn't. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Not edited for TV either. And this filter really isn't that bad, but let's turn it around and look at it. And that looks pretty nasty. This has never been changed, and this car has about 60,000 miles on it. You should change these about every year they recommend. Um, so we will be doing that more frequently now. But uh, let's get the new one in. And here we've got the replacement filter next to our OEM refilter. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not too impressed with this replacement. It's a MicroGuard 4068 from O'Reilly. It is a HEPA filter, um, but it's it doesn't seem very durable. It's flimsy, it doesn't have as much material as this OEM. And honestly, I, can, I think I can see my hand through it, to, to be honest with you. Um, whereas our OEM filter is much more robust. It looks like it has charcoal woven in uh, as well as just more material and it's much more sturdy and durable uh, than this replacement. So I think it might be worth going with the OEM next time. We will make sure to change this one out in six to nine months and see how it looks. But I think for the money, this might be the ticket next year. And look at that, even made in the USA. So that's great there too. So here's your part numbers from the Nissan OEM. And uh, like I said, this one just does not feel nearly as quality as this one does here. Um, let's take a look just real quick at airflow. This should be facing you, so the arrow should be pointing at you. So it will face this way. All right, let's get it in the car. And now for the install, I think we will take our leading edge on the upper side and just kind of snake it in that way. I think we will have to crunch it down a little bit in order to get it in. Um, I'll try to film this like I did last time, but um, beware, it may not be that quality. So let's try and get this installed. And remember, arrows facing you. Yeah, I think we almost got it. Yeah, I think um, we'll just go through and kind of smooth it out, make sure it's uh, all spread out and we should be all set. All we need to do is get this uh, clamp back on and we should be okay. So just kind of 
follow the track and move it up. It should hook. And now we just need to push this on and we'll be good to go. And this might be the hardest part. There we go. All good. On a scale of one to five, five being the hardest, I'd give that a one. It really wasn't that bad. I thought it'd be a lot harder given the location of the filter, but it wasn't. It's something you can absolutely do. So hey, if this video helped you, please help me and hit like and subscribe. It does make the channel successful. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.